Okay, so a quick editing note before the video actually begins. Uh, I kind of fucked up when recording this stream and exporting the VOD because I've been experimenting with uh, encoding using AV1 encoding instead of uh, NVENC. Don't worry about it if you don't know what that means. Uh, and basically I had to re-encode the stream to H.264 to be able to actually edit it because it turns out uh, Vegas Pro 18, which is what I used to edit, doesn't support AV1. So that took hours and after doing that I realised that I didn't export the audio correctly. So the only audio that I had to work with while editing this stream was my microphone audio. So I've had to go through and um, insert background music. So none of the audio that you hear in this video is actually from the stream. The only audio that you hear is from me. Yeah, I, don't worry about it. This, this is going to be a really dumb idea and I have no clue how well this is going to go. So I'm just going to do honor mode. I, I'm fully expecting this to not last through Act 1. If this somehow goes through Act 1, then I think it will probably end very, very badly. I am creating a character for a D&D &D campaign. An open-ended D&D &D campaign where I can play a good or evil character. Please generate a character and give me a description of their appearance, motivations. Seraphina Nightshade, can you also generate a character sheet for me? Mutual can shift towards good or evil. That's a good that's an interesting starting point. So we've got a high elf. Uh, she was a wizard. Does she have cantrip? She does. Okay. May try and press a digitation. That's not in. Hold on. Hold uh, on. Can you replace press digitation with another cantrip? Minor illusion. I think that actually is in the game, isn't it? Yeah, minor illusion. Okay, so we have minor illusion. We need another cantrip. Where? Hold on, what were the actual ability scores? Uh, That doesn't work. I have another ability point. Oopsie. We have a leftover ability point. Where to put it? Given Seraphina's focus on arcane so intelligence, let's increase her intelligence score to 17. That doesn't work. <laughs> Unless I do that. Oh wait, that actually does work. Holy shit, okay. That actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, right, so race was elf, that was that. Class wizard. So I need another cantrip, don't I? Because it was mage hand, ray of frost, I need one more cantrip. Consider her interest in forbidden knowledge and potentially darker powers. I'm sorry? Okay, chill touch. Right, that's fine. I'm pretty sure that is actually in the game. Bone chill. That's the same thing, right? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure chill touch and bone chill are the same thing. Right, what were the spells that I had to pick? Magic, missile, mage armor, and identify. I don't know if that's not in this game. Pick four more first level spells. Detect magic, that's not in this game, I don't think. Shield, that is. Sleep. I have never used sleep once in my life. Where the fuck is sleep? Expeditious retreat, that's actually pretty good. Uh. I oh, know, I was thinking of Longstrider. I mean, okay, Expeditious that still works, I guess. And Hideous Laughter. I don't know if I like this combination, but it maybe will work, potentially. I, <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to use Expeditious Retreat. I don't think I'm ever going to use Sleep. I have one damaging spell, which is Magic Missile, and then I have Ray of Frost and Bone Chill. This feels terrible. Which four of my level one spells should be prepared? Mage Armor, okay. Shield, okay. Sleep and Ray of Frost. That's not a Ray of Frost isn't a level one spell. Mage Hand. Mage Hand. Expeditious Retreat. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, Mage Armor, Expeditious Retreat, Shield, and Sleep. Those are the starting spells that I prepared. Okay, she's tall and slender, which I guess would be body free, right? Because that's taller and slender. 
Oh, the five nine. Actually, that's almost six feet, right? That's quite tall. Um. Although she is an elf. Do we think it's one or three? Is she slightly taller or. I don't know what's average for an elf. Elves are shorter than humans. Oh! oh I guess she is three then. Uh, so, hair? Hair is long, flowing down her back and black. What's next? Contrasting with her pale complexion and silver eyes. Okay. That's kind of silver? Elf silver. Oh, shit, they actually have colours called elf silver. None of these are like super particularly pale. I guess that one is kind of pale, but it's also kind of like purpley. Can I just do... Is one of these more pale? But none of these are like, strike me as like super particularly pale, which is weird. Pallid turn one. I guess that's the closest. I guess that's the character? I just sure. Oh, uh, proficiencies, fuck. Proficiencies. Arcana history. Is that... That only just fits. Are you serious? That's literally the character of it. Uh, do I just choose random for this? Because I don't know if I want to generate... I don't know if I want ChatGPT to generate a fucking guardian. A moon elf. I mean, I guess I can do that with... I guess I can kind of do that. Sure, why not? Moon elves aren't a thing. Um. So I guess she'll be a high elf. Actually, is it a she? Eldrith. That has to be a female name. It says there. It doesn't actually gender Eldrith. God fucking damn it. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> They're non-binary. I don't know who they are. It's an envy dream, Guardian. I don't fucking know. The chat GPC isn't describing things properly. Okay. Now I'm gonna do- I'm just gonna- two seconds. I don't need to spend much time on this because this is literally irrelevant. It doesn't matter. Um. <laughs> Like, this, none of this fucking matters. I don't know why I'm spending so much time on this. Arise a deep indigo. I feel really stupid. What the fuck is indigo again? I just completely forgot. Okay, so it's it's like a dark purple. Or blue. Or blue. Is it dark purple or blue? I mean, that kind of... Would you describe the uh, colour there as indigo? I don't know. Uh, off the top of my head, I'm not even really sure what indigo is because it's either blue or purple according to Google. I don't know. Is that more right? Okay, that feels more right. Yeah, like I, I've i never in my head gone, oh, that's clearly indigo. I've always just gone either purple or blue. I don't know the difference. I'm just going to pretend that's indigo. If that's not indigo, then... I don't know, see me. But what's her name again? Seraphina awakens on a nautiloid and cannot remember who she is. How does she react? <laughs> awakens on a nautiloid, cannot remember who she is, but she does remember it's had pull in her head. She's uneasy. From what I'm getting from this is it's more of a she just kind of carries on and struggles through her life. She may cautiously explore her surroundings, searching for clues about her identity and the nature of the tadpole. The urgency to understand her predicament and the potential threat of the alien presence heightened her determination. So I can look around. Great, thank you ChatGPT for giving me this um, honour. I don't actually remember where anything is in this opening area. There's something up here, right? So I come across a body in a alien chair. The body convulses. The brain speaks. The exposed half of the brain speaks. It demands freedom. Uh, keeping the post of Serafina addresses the speaking brain. She inquires about its identity, its connection to her, and the circumstances leading to the current situation. Okay. So, who am I talking to? A man or a brain? That sounds exactly right. Okay, who am I talking to? She asks the brain if she's speaking to it or the body, and the brain responds with it. But itself. Seraphina identifies the brain as an intellect devourer. What does she do next? <laughs> uh, communicates firmly setting clear boundaries. Look, the, our relationship cannot go any further than this. You are a brain in a body, so she doesn't give it freedom immediately. Don't have either of those spells. Identify. Why the fuck would identify help? It's not a magic item, it's a fucking brain. So she isn't going so she's gonna assess the situ a situation more without actually doing anything first is what i'm getting from that it might be more prudent for seraphina to choose not to free it prioritizing her safety and the safety of us in the not she may decide to neutralize the threat rather than releasing it okay perfect thank you destroying the brain <laughs> that took so long just to pry something out of it right okay why is okay sure why not that is exactly how that's supposed to happen, I'm pretty sure. It's literally taken like 30 minutes just to get past 
I'm, I'm, I'm not even doing the fucking tutorial yet. I don't know how long character creation took, but that, it's, it's taken so long just to get this far. Lizel says we must kill imps and take the helm. Uh, two arms. <laughs> sure. I think at this point I just play the game unless it explicitly tells me to do some things specifically. Offensive spells like Magic Missile or Ray of Frost may be particularly useful. So does it want me to use Magic Missile? I'm not using Magic Missile. I'll use Ray of Frost. I'm not using Magic Missile. That seems kind of pointless right now. <laughs> oh. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Sure. Ask how to handle the combat. I, I don't want to have to ask if I do that for every single encounter in the game. This is going to take so fucking long. Like, you have no idea. Hold on. Right, I'll... There are two imps alive after Lizel fucking murders one. What does... Seraphina do? I don't have chromatic orb. I... Spells like magic missile don't tell me I have to actually use magic missile. Alternately, she may opt for a support of. Okay, doesn't actually tell me what to do, it's just telling me things I can do. Given the first person nature, spells like magic missile. It keeps saying magic missile. I think that means I have to do magic missile, right? Wait, I don't have it prepared though! <laughs> Wait, because it gave me fucking sleep! And. What else? An expeditious retreat! I don't have magic missile! It said Ray of Frost. I'll, I'll do Ray of Frost. I, I literally can't use magic missile right now. Why? 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 That was so unnecessary! Okay. Uh, Yowzers. The Ray of Frost hit an imp for three damage. It has four health left and, and, and ran at Seraphina. Standing next to her. What now? Melee attack. That's the first thing it says. I'm, I think maybe what I do is I just do the first thing it says. It did exactly seven damage. That was kind of overkill, but sure, whatever. Actually, do I need to ask ChatGPT if I can equip things? During the encounter, Lizelle found a light crossbow. She currently has a short bow equipped. Does she swap? Given the information provided and the specific preferences of constraints, Lazelle could choose to swap her short bow for the light crossbow. It says could choose, I'm going to take that as a yes. Right, we're using the crossbow. <laughs> I, maybe I should actually start asking it like what to do during encounters just so that I can uh... Because I the thing is, if it, if it decides to fight the uh, the devil guy at the end of the tutorial, then the run's dead right there. There were signs above the buttons. The middle one says aggression, the right one says annihilate, and she, uh, Seraphina failed to read the left one. Caution and avoidance. Recognize some central dangers associated with- oh my god. Aggression and annihilate may choose to not press any buttons. Communicate with the lying individuals. The people on the beds are unconscious. What now? <laughs> Check for signs of distress. Oh my god, I can't do that. Attempt to wake them. Can I get Lazelle to try and read the other sigil? It says unleash. Given the- it's still going on about the people. Oh my god. The people cannot be woken. All I can do is press the button. Prior prioritize caution. Okay, fine. Pressing unleash. Wait, that's the only button it's mentioned. I pressed unleash and nothing happened. There may be subtle changes or response. I mean, you know what? Maybe that's true. Maybe there are subtle changes. Maybe the No, they're they're still they're still completely unresponsive. Pressing other buttons. This is the next thing. If the situation allows me to decide to press any of the remaining buttons, proceed with extreme caution. Which do I press first? It said aggression first. I guess aggression. Oh no! Pressing aggression made the people stand up and angry. Use mage armor. Okay. What does it say for Lazelle? Works on disabling or incapacitating them rather than causing lethal harm. So I have to use non-lethal attack. 
Okay. Interesting. It wants me to not actually kill them. Why has she had two crit? Literally, she has had three attacks in this whole playthrough and two of them have been crits. There's a, an alien pod containing a woman called Shadowheart who is demanding to be set free. Lizelle doesn't seem to care. What does Seraphina do? Understanding Lizelle's perspective, that's... There may be cultural differences. Exactly, that's all it is. Inspect the alien pod to understand its nature, any potential security measures or consequences. Can I do that one? I guess I can look for a latch. Actually, I guess there's magic at work here to tell me what kind of would kind of fall under inspecting the pod, so I'll do that as well. Investigate the panel. The panel is very alien and flesh look fleshy. What? <laughs> Just what? I'm just gonna end it there. What? Briefly communicate with Lizelle to share the discovery about the alien and fleshy nature. No. Document the appearance. No, the, the, the nature. Okay, the control panel's appearance is not relevant. Looking for a switch. Okay, it's now giving me pros and cons and then telling me nothing of value actually. Okay. Inscribe the panel of glyphs. Right, okay. The tadpole in her head. Uh, her, her, her head connects her to the control panel. Shocking! <laughs> Does she use the power of the parasite? Considering the potential benefits and risks, she has to use the power of the parasite to attempt to open the sealed pod. Okay. Would have been so funny if I rolled a one on that. Hurrah! The pod opens and Shadowheart is free. She thinks. Seraphina for freeing her, but is wary of Lizelle because she's a gif. How does Seraphina respond to her racism? <laughs> Seraphina, being a character in an open-ended D&D campaign, has the freedom to choose her response to Shadowheart's racism. Diplomatic approach? Could attempt to diplomatically address Seraphina's concerns. Like the individual should be judged based on their actions and character rather than their race and background. Okay, I guess dangerous company is what you need in a fight? I guess that would be the response. Shadowheart suspiciously picks up a prism and places it in her pocket. She joins the party. Does Seraphina question her about the prism? Direct questioning. Right, there you go. It said it, so. Lizelle and Shadowheart complain that we are wasting time and we need to reach the helm. Oh wait, there's, there is another room though, isn't there? I head directly to the helm. Okay, right. Forget this room, we're off to the helm. <laughs> I'm taking the dark mind though. A mind flayer instructs the party to activate a transponder to escape. He is fighting a devil and there are a bunch of other enemies in the room. What do we do? Uh, so which enemy is supposed to greatest danger? Effective and transport is essential, prioritize this task. Possibly the one with relevant skills or abilities to focus on activate and transport while others pro provide cover. Okay. Concentrate fire on the devil. Uh, I'm not sure who exactly is the right pick to run for the transponder though. Kill the devil. It doesn't say kill the devil, it just says concentrate fire on the devil while somebody activates the transponder. So I'm gonna say probably Lazelle is the best bet for this because she can jump far. That's the whole reason. That's literally my whole reasoning. It's just because she can jump far. I Although... Although Seraphina does have expeditious retreat. <laughs> that was a, a very a very um a very important part of character creation. Getting expeditious retreat. Expeditious retreat. Does that give me that takes my jumps jumps to bonus actually, okay. That mind flare is not gonna live for like very long at all, holy shit. Right, well it's it's said to concentrate fire on the fucking the devil, so. Hey, two damage! Let's go! It's so close to that I know, right? Look, it's dead. <laughs> it's just gone. I think the best way of doing this might just be to at a certain point just uh, like the minor characters just choose answers based on what her character probably would do. 
given the description it gave earlier and then for like the major like dialogue actually ask it what it wants to do. But then if ChatGPT decides to have a meltdown and completely rewrite her character and make her like a murderous psychopath for no reason, um, th that might happen a bit later than it normally would. If it just completely forgets who she is for some reason. That's just character development. I, I know, right? My favourite character development is when the, like I just randomly become a bloodthirsty psychopath and kill everyone I meet. Does she speak to Shadowheart? If Shadowheart appears to be in a stable condition, it might seem to wake her. Seraphina asks Shadowheart what happened to Lazelle. That's it? Just one line? Holy shit! Shadowheart seems to want to stick around. Seraphina acknowledging Shadowheart's side to stick around lets her stay. Cool. Seraphina touches a corpse and her memories start doing something. Does she smile while looking at the corpse, not smile, or try to remember the last time she stood above a corpse? Seraphina tries to remember the last time she stood above a corpse. Okay, I was about to say, and this is an intelligence check as well, so this should actually be not that hard. She remembers thousands of dead people and realizes that she is pure evil. Also, revelation may significantly impact her character's thoughts, emotions, and actions moving forward. The next steps in how Seraphina to cut for this realization are crucial elements that can shape her character's development in the campaign. Maybe she will snap and kill everyone at some point. Maybe that'll happen. I really would love to see if the AI decides to just go fucking ape shit and kill everyone. That'll be funny. It's 15 meters away. The fuck do you mean? Oh, there's a rock. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Who damn it? One to eight. It's one to eight. Why does it keep rolling two? It's not two damage. Don't hit. Thank you. I'm not expecting this to last through Act One, though. I think if this somehow manages to last all the way through Act One without um, everyone dying, I will be very surprised. Seraphina comes across the Mind Flayer from the Nautiloid. Decides to leave it to die rather than risk the dangers associated with. That's not. That, she's killing it anyway. Makes a decision to leave it to die. Okay. That, that, it's, it's starting to lose its fucking mind. I don't know what ChatGPT is doing, but. To be fair, we didn't actually see Astarion on the ship. Astarion pulls a knife. It's a trick. Shakes her head. Oh! Okay. He is about to complain and then is hit by a sudden migraine. <laughs> Grab his knife arm and twist. Wait, what would that do? I'm trying to understand in my head what that would actually do. Grab his knife arm and twist. Take the knife? So I'm gonna try to slip free from the situation. Okay. That was a good roll, to be fair. Seraphina makes a nondescript comment. Great, we choose the most generic, vague ass fucking response possible. Thanks, ChatGPT. Cool. Does she invite him to travel or not? Does not explicitly invite Astarian to travel with her. Okay. Well, uh, that's that, I guess. <laughs> Just. No, no Astarian. A shot rest at some point as well. How close am I leveling up? Are you fucking serious? If I'd literally killed like one more thing in the um, Nautiloid, it would've been fine. But for some reason, ChatGPT insisted on me um, targeting the, the devil instead. So, oh well. Uh, shot or long change? Uh, I can literally just do it whenever. I can literally just go, I don't want, I don't know, expeditious retreat, I want magic missile now. Which, to be fair, I probably am not going to use expeditious retreat because it's Fucking expeditions for Jerry. There is a swirling sigil on a rock that appears to be a portal. Seraphina for the mix decides not to touch the sigil. Well, um. Okay. <laughs> that. I guess that's that. Uh. Come across a destroyed chapel with some people outside. The two appear to be looters and were in the middle of a conversation about the crashed 
not a lot of aid. They appear to think they. Sorry, I don't like using the word appear twice in the same. Because it's the two appear, they appear to. I'm using. I'm not using the word appear. They seem to think that Seraphina and Shadowheart are also looters and are not happy with their presence. There are multiple options for trying to defuse the situation. I am not competition, I am annihilation. Holy shit, that line goes hard. Fuck. Hold on, I guess I should probably just list the options. Threaten them into leaving. Introduce herself as annihilation. Say that she means no harm. Attempt to convince them that the ship is dangerous. Attempt to convince them that it is an invasion force and to run away. Intimidate them into leaving. What's the difference between the first one? I don't want to hurt you but throw me in a hell of these are both like intimidation, except one of them is based on strength. Weigh up the options and then pick one at the end. I want to hear its logic for all, for all of these options. Weighing the options, okay. Threaten them into leaving. This might escalate the situation and potentially lead to a confrontation. Introduce herself as annihilation. This option might confuse or intimidate the looters, but could also escalate tensions. Say she means to the hand. This is a diplomatic approach emphasizing peaceful intentions and potentially easing tensions. Uh, attempt to convince them that the ship is dangerous, providing information that they're not always potential dangers could persuade them to reconsider. Attempt to convince them that this is an invasion force and to run away. This could play on their fears and urgency, including them to leave for their safety. Intimidate them into leaving. Similar to option one, this might escalate but could be effective. Attack them. This is the most aggressive op option and could lead to a violent confrontation. <laughs> Considering the circumstances and potential consequences, Seraphina chooses to attempt to convince them that it's an invasion force and to run away. Okay, I don't have deception though, do I? This is a bad... Could include the information about the, like, roll bonuses, but no, I'm not gonna do that. I was a 19? Why was that a 19? That was a natural 19. You know, maybe ChatGPT knows something that I don't. Oh, wait, I can level up. Hold on. Wait, I just realised. I hope it remembers the stuff from earlier. If it doesn't, I'm gonna have to remind it. Class features wrote, just to remind you, Seraphina is an elf wizard. Let's level up. Okay, second level as a wizard. Second level as a wizard. Okay, we didn't do multi-classing, right? Y you've just listed the level two features and not actually updated her character at all. School evocation! Okay, right, there we go. Evocation. We finally got it. Spells. Uh... First of all, well, we, we can't pick new cantrips, and we already have shield and mage armor. Um, these spells, neither of those are in the game. Charm person, I believe, is actually in the game. Yes. Find familiar. Is that actually an option? Holy shit, that's actually an option. Right, okay. Uh, I feel like this character is becoming super fucked. Like, what are my, sp what are my spell options? Like, I have the ones that make sense, Mage Armor and Shield. Those make sense. Sleep, I don't think I've ever used sleep in my entire life. Expeditious Retreat, eh? I mean, I guess it's fine, but like, it's, eh? Fine familiar, okay. Shadowheart is a cleric. Is her second level also in cleric, or does she multi-class? Let's have some variety, oh no. Fighter 1? Actually not that bad. Uh, okay. That's actually not too bad, I don't think. Which fighting style does she pick? Selecting the dueling fighting style. I mean, I guess that's not too bad, actually. Actually, no, now that I think about it, that's actually not too bad. Right, I'm gonna quick save it and then try and cast Find Familiar. Oh, this is a ritual. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, fuck yeah, no, this is a ritual. It literally doesn't matter. Okay, change that out. Find Familiar does the Ratmosphere. No. Okay, I guess I just kill it. I don't- I don't need to ask. Chat GPT. I guess I'll ask Chat GPT. Just for the fun of it. Aims to incapacitate him temporarily. Okay. Seraphina, recognizing the need for a non liquid solution, casts a spell like Tasha City is left off sleep. Okay. Uh interesting. He is surprised. So I can actually just attack him for now, I think. And that's fine. Right, so I need to cast sleep. Up to 24 combined hit points. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Thanks, ChatGPT. Uh. <laughs> Why the fuck 
was that a crit? Right, I need the rat to not kill him. Okay, the rat didn't kill him. Is this actually- is her mace actually- Wait, she isn't proficient with simple weapons on maces. What? No, she is. Wait, what are you talking about? She is proficient with maces. What? Am I being gaslit? The game just said that she wasn't proficient. Okay, right. Well, the good news is it's not two-handed and it's not versatile, so dueling actually does work. So somehow... Somehow, some fucking way, ChatGPT actually picked a combat stance or whatever the fuck it was, combat style, that actually worked? Maybe ChatGPT is actually on some- like, nothing ChatGPT has done so far is wrong. Oh, take a defensive but assertive stance. Should her end with her melee capabilities move to engage, attempt to disarm or inca incapacitate? Okay. Seraphina using her bow? Seraphina is a wizard. Seraphina casts a defensive spell such as shield or mage armor to protect herself from potential attacks. Okay. Seraphina recognizing the aggression casts a crowd control spell like Tasha's hideous laughter or sleep. So I guess that means use hideous laughter? Do I have hideous laughter actually? I do have it memorized. Oh shit, this might actually work. Yeah, this might actually work as a strat. Hold on. Roll for hunt down the free. Mm. Although I don't have enough spell slots to actually do mage armor as well. I guess that's fine. I'll just do what it said here instead. Maybe? Maybe, maybe. ChatGPT knows some shit. Oh shit, the rat! I forgot about the rat. Seraphina also has a rat. The rat scurries towards Olyra, attempting to distract them to disrupt their focus. Okay, go rat. You know, this is- maybe this is a good strat. We're still trying to subdue, right? We're actually trying to kill anyone. I'm pretty sure so far the game hasn't actually- oh, ChatGPT hasn't actually told me to kill anyone. Which is interesting. But that's a 50% chance. Okay, it works. Cool. Okay. The... Two come across- oh sorry, the three come across a locked wooden door. Okay, so the rat distraction! Shadow Hat Seraphina and the rat consider the options. I don't think I have a slashing weapon, do I? Wait, she has fucking fireball, what am I talking about? Although I do need to, like, roll at least five damage. Um... How have I not rolled five? How do I keep rolling three? I rolled a four that time. Uh... That was a 10. I just rolled a 10. Okay. There is now a way further into the chapel, but there's another unlocked door nearby, and it sounds like there are people behind it. Open the unlocked door. Short decision. Given the potential threat the party chooses not to- uh, Huh? Given the potential threat the party chooses not to take a short rest. Just to- just to be clear, Seraphina is at 3 of 12. Are you sure about the decision to not short rest? Recognising the urgency of their situation, the need for recovery, the party decides to take a short rest. Okay, behind the door is a large room with a statue at the back and four looters that will absolutely try to attack on sight. Plan an ambush. And to position themselves strategically in the room. There is only one entrance. I like how it keeps saying rat distraction. Rat distraction is the ultimate strata. Shadowheart and Seraphina position themselves defensively near the entrance. Okay, so they position themselves near the entrance. That was what that was what it said. Uh the rat what does the rat do? Realizing the constraints of the room scurries towards the looters at the entrance and seems to draw their attention. Wait! Wait, is this the strat? Hold on. Shadow Hat and Seraphina position themselves defensively near the entrance, preparing for their arrival. Now they're plant they're sat at the entrance, waiting for the looters. And then the rat scurries towards the entrance to bring them towards the entrance. Holy shit, this is a master plan. Oh my god, is this actually Negotiate for Okay, we can't do that. Um The plan worked! <laughs> the looters were distracted by the rats. And Shadowheart and Seraphina were able to sit by the entrance and 
catch them off guard. Oh my god, it actually did work. Wait, did they kill the rat? They killed the rat! The rat was unfortunately killed. Shut up, being capable of melee combat and choose to engage the barbarian in melee combat. Okay. Right. That was kind of shit. Use the range counter of spells. Since everything is not visible, she opts for a range cantrip that can be cast without reeling, reeling her position. It didn't say to move her. To be fair, she can't actually move. I, I guess technically I don't actually have this advantage because I am hiding. I guess that does actually work. She fired a ray of frost and was detected. Whoops. Oh wait, hold on. Do they try to kill these people or do they try to incapacitate them? This is very important. Attempt to incapacitate the hostile individuals. Okay. It wants me to just melee this guy, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay. Right, well, uh... <laughs> Look. Is this where the run ends? Okay. Decisive action. Cast a cantrip. Ray of Frost. <laughs> I have disadvantage, but okay. the run ends. It's Shadowheart's turn. She is on one HP, no spell slots, and the following cantrips. The barbarian is still stood next to her and raging. What does she do? Shadowheart casts Sacred Flame. Shadowheart casts Sacred Flame. That is... That is significantly worse than just doing a melee attack. That's worse than Firebolt. How the fuck is that worse than Firebolt? How is... Okay, I kind of want to let it know that this is literally the worst possible choice it could possibly make in this situation. That was a cool plan. I just wanted to inform you that... Sacred Flame, in this situation, has a 36% chance of success, while a regular attack has 80% because the Barbarian is recklessly attacking, and Firebolt is 50%. Are you still certain that you want to cast Sacred Flame here? The party decides not to cast Sacred Flame. What action do you, does Shadowheart take then? Regular attack. Okay. Take advantage of the Barbarian's reckless attacks. I, I mean, he's also raging, so that will reduce the damage, I think. Um, yeah, he has resistance to physical damage. As a reminder, he is also raging, so has resistance to physical damage. I, I, I wonder what it says. I, I, I genuinely am not sure if, if which one is better here. Sh Fireball doesn't have a higher success rate. Um, Fireball does not have a higher success rate. Should I revise her decision? Okay, we'll come back to regular attack. <laughs> this is a fucking roller coaster. Good idea. The attack hit and dealt four damage. However, he still has 24 health left. This may be a... this may be the end, unfortunately. Attempt a strategic retreat! Wait, that might actually work. Hold on, because they're gonna open the door. Oh wait, they can shoot. Oh, she might be dead. <gasps> wait, hold on. Okay, that's bad. That's... okay, right. Disengage, disengage, disengage. I just realised if I had Expeditious Retreat right now, Everything will be fine. Oh my god. I actually need Expeditious Retreat. Oh, that's fucked. Oh no. Wait, I can go through here. Oh shit, I fucked up. I could've gone that way and gone through the door. Uh, I might be dead. This might be the end. But I might have actually been me fucking that up. Ah! Uh! Okay! Don't hit. If this hits, it's over. Okay. Don't hit. Okay. Shadowheart's dead. I don't give a fuck about Shadowheart. Shadowheart can die. No fucking way. No! Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. If this gets far enough... I 
think the run's over. I think that's it. Uh, if only I'd gone this way first instead of going that that way first, I would have had enough movement to get there. I think I actually fucked that. I'm the problem. ChatGPT did nothing wrong. Uh, I need to inform it of the current situation, I think. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. During the tactical retreat, I initially moved in the wrong direction and didn't have enough movement to reach a safe area. Due to this mistake, Seraphita is now standing meters away from survival with a raging barbarian just 11 meters away and an angry wizard and ranger not too far behind. In order to survive, she must dodge all attacks for the next turn. Wish me luck, and I'm sorry if I failed you. <laughs> oh no, no need to apologize. Good luck to Seraphina as she attempts to navigate through this perilous situation where the dice roll in her favour and may a quick thinking and agility help her dodge the imminent threats. Remember the beauty of D&D lies in the unpredictability of the journey and the stories that unfold, whether they evolve triumphant victories or valiant deaths. Enjoy the rest of your campaign. Godspeed, chat GPC. I think this is it. <laughs> no way! End your campaign with honour. I'm sorry to inform you, but the barbarian, with his first action, threw- I don't even know what it was, I'm just gonna say it was a bottle at Seraphina, and she instantly died. Godspeed. Farewell to Seraphina, a brave adventurer who faced the perils of the world with courage. In the unpredictable world of Dungeons and Dragons, characters may be unexpected ends, but their stories of memories created in this campaign will endure. May your future adventures be filled with new characters, challenges, and victories. If you ever wish to embark on another journey or need assistance or anything else, feel free to ask. Godspeed! Godspeed indeed! Thank you, ChatGPT, it's been an honour.